With perpetually understaffed jail, forced overtime is a main driver behind detention deputies morale issues. So what do you do about it? The county contracted American Correctional Consultants in fall of last year to evaluate the existing systems and jail operations. Our Gary Berger was there for their presentation to county commissioners today and to talk with Sheriff Javier Salazar about what he plans to do. It wasn't a study focused entirely on staffing. I'm recommending that we install cameras in all recreational yards for supplemental surveillance. But that is one of the county's primary focuses when it comes to the Bear County Jail. But I think um, there's a fiscal uh, breaking point that we're going to get to where we just can't simply afford um, millions and millions of dollars of overtime. Beyond recommending a certain staffing model, many of the consultant staffing recommendations revolved around morale, with ideas like revamping break areas, town hall meetings, and performance awards. The consultant also recommended switching sworn detention deputies out of administrative work that could be done by civilians. These are certified detention deputies that are valuable resources that quite frankly should be working in operations, maybe reducing overtime. The report comes in two months after a similar report Sheriff Javier Salazar commissioned, having often butted heads with former Commissioner Trish DeBerry, who was the driving force behind getting this study done. As it turned out, uh, both consultants' reports were really pretty much in line. And the sheriff appeared open to the recommendations. Much of what he's saying is, is music to my ears. This latest study shows pay lags behind jails in other big metro areas like Austin, Houston, and Dallas-Fort Worth. Even so, the recommendations did not include pay bumps beyond an idea to offer a lump sum to help detention deputies who are buying a home. Sheriff Salazar also thinks there are non-pay ways to sweeten the pot for his detention deputies, floating the idea, for example, of a hybrid scheduling effort with 12 or 8-hour shifts as a way to offer flexibility. At the jail, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.